and thank you for coming back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but real life takes precedence. But today I want to show you how to make one of my personal favorite desserts. French vanilla icing over monkey bread with cinnamon, sugar, Granny Smith apples, and walnuts. For the dough, you can either choose to make some simple puff pastry or you can buy pre-made. You can also easily look online and find recipes on how to make a puff pastry. For the rest of the ingredients, you'll need a quarter cup of sugar, about a half a cup of brown sugar, Granny Smith apples, a stick of butter, a quarter cup of crushed walnuts, heavy cream, confection sugar, and cream cheese. To start, lightly butter your cake pan. Mix together your sugar, brown sugar, and cinnamon into a bowl. Here I'm just crushing down the ingredients to make sure there's no knots or balls of sugar. The next step, you take your nice little half inch balls of dough, place it inside. And for mess, I decided to use a sealed container. Give it a good shake. Everything is coated well, then you can put it in your cake pan. You want to continue to repeat this process until you have a clean layer on the bottom and then the second half can begin. Once you have a dough base, you want to start by mincing down some walnuts really, really fine and small and sprinkle them in. Next comes your Granny Smith tart apples and I pre-cut them. You just toss them in, repeat the process over and over. The buttering of the cake pan allows for the sugar and cinnamon to caramelize or become a crust. Once all is said and done, you should have a dessert that's pull apart, sweet, plays with the tart, plays with cold, plays with hot. A complete clash of decadence. Here I'm mincing down the apples to make an icing. Half a stick of butter, the apples cut down finely, and the remainder of the cinnamon, sugar, and brown sugar in your container. Once you have finished with your ingredients, place on a medium heat in a saucepan for 5 to 10 minutes. The butter will begin to melt, cinnamon and sugar mix with it, and the Granny Smith apples will release their flavor. But the icing itself is to be poured in on the monkey bread halfway through the cooking so that it saturates everywhere. Once all said and done, well, you hear about it in the end. As for the cream cheese, icing I made myself. If you want to know, you can look online, but it's not that hard to make. Heavy cream, confection sugar, and Philadelphia cream cheese. Once it's finished cooking, take out, let it set for at least a good five minutes. And this is my method of flipping it with a plate. Oh, that looks so good. Now for the flip, once it comes out of the cake pan, it's going to be piping hot, which is also the perfect time to put on your icing. And in a moment, you'll be able to also see the glaze in between everything. It caramelizes on the outside, make a little bit of a crunch, still oozing out, still very hot, which is the perfect time for the icing. And if you made it right, the easiest way to explain how it tastes, it's pull apart dough, cinnamon, sugar, sweetness, granny smell for a little bit of tart, the cream cheese adds another level of tartness while the confection sugar gives it a little more sweetness, and it's just a clash on flavors that taste great together. Also too, I suggest if you want to make something like this, take it with some French vanilla ice cream. You got something hot, nutty, sweet, a little tart. French vanilla ice cream with the walnuts just work together. I don't know why. But the end flavors are amazing. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. As you're going to see, I'm going to finish icing. And then I'm going to eat like a fat kid. But I do thank you for watching the video. I know it's been a while. Hopefully, I'll be making more videos very, very soon. Because I miss you guys telling me the good and the bad. God, I love you. Bye-bye.